MLK Day means to me the celebration of a true leader. An opportunity to recognize and to celebrate the contributions of African Americans to challenge our status quo to make the world more equitable and just for all. An annual reminder of the work we still have to do as a country to reach the ideals Dr. King aspired to. That with God, anything is possible. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do. This year's MLK Day to me is all about this because it cannot be more relevant or precious than times like this. Martin Luther King Day means to fight for equal rights for everyone. He is a great example of what we should all do and is an advocate for those who are being suppressed. He is definitely an inspiration and I hope that it, we continue to push for what is right and to treat everyone equally no matter what their skin or ethnicity is. He didn't write a speech called I Have a Plan. He wrote a speech and gave it and it was called I Have a Dream. Martin Luther King Jr. Day to me means the promise to continue the fight for justice and equity every day. MLK Day to me is an American holiday and it celebrates hope and forgiveness. It means bravery, it means selflessness, it means peace, courage, it means that we are one. Hope, equality, uh, just living the dream. Martin Luther King Day to me means change and bravery. Martin Luther King Day to me means bravery and love. It means honor, hope, change, faith, future, leadership, bravery, equality, and respect for human rights of people of color. Martin Luther King Day is mainly about egalitarianism, which is a fancy word for equality. Martin Luther King Jr. represented then and now everything that everyone that breathes air should strive for. Thank you, sir.
Oh, na, 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 na. for the living make a better place for you and for me you and for me you and for me you and for me the traits of a spirit award winner is heart you have to have heart to do service. I believe that if you are doing it from your heart, then you're doing it with greatness and you're gonna do it with excellence. I think some traits are selflessness. Uh, I think that's one of the uh, traits that I most admire of Dr. King, willing to do for others um, because it was right, because it was uh, what was expected and uh, that's the trait that you have shown. The traits of a Spirit Award winner are community-minded, driven, passionate about the underrepresented, a promoter of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and again, I'll say um, a person who exemplifies the spirit of love wrapped in justice. Dr. King to me represents resilience. Dr. King to me represents strength. Dr. King to me represents light. Dr. King represents to me hope. Hope for a better today hope for a better tomorrow, and a willingness to challenge, a willingness to change, and a willingness to be better. To me, Dr. King represents resilience. When the tough gets going, you don't get, you don't lose sight, you don't lose faith, you just keep going. And Dr. King represents vision and purpose. He was very strategic in everything that he did. He represented peace, he represented love, and he just wanted everyone to unite. When I think of Dr. King, I think of hope. It gives me hope to continue in my efforts and my community service as well. Hello, I'm Rebecca Woods, president of Columbia Basin College, and I am proud to help present the 2021 Spirit Award in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Each year, CBC sends out a call to the community seeking nominations for our Martin Luther King Jr. Spirit Award. This prestigious award seeks to recognize a student, faculty, or staff member or a community member who strongly believes in equality and social justice and whose contributions to society reflect the spirit, philosophy, and teachings of Dr. King. This year, we were pleasantly surprised. We received 15 nominations. Those were carefully reviewed by members of our Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee and anonymously voted on. So without further ado, it's now time for our Spirit Award presenter to announce this year's winners. And yes, you heard correctly, winners, meaning we have more than one winner for the first time ever. I'd like to introduce to you our Spirit Award presenter, Katie Banks. Katie is a CBC Assistant Professor in Political Science a member of our Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, 
a community DEI trainer and advocate, and a co-organizer of the Poet Jordan Presents series with Jordan Cheney, which brings BIPOC creators to the Tri-Cities to share their work and to facilitate important, though sometimes difficult, conversations. She was also one of the nominators of this year's Spirit Award winners. Hello, my name is Katie Banks and I'm honored to present the 2021 Spirit Award to two community members who are educators, advocates, and poets. This couple has used their powerful energies and voices over the past year to organize protest, to write thought-provoking articles for Tumbleweird, to release a record, and to host Poet Jordan Presents Black Excellence, an evening with Nikita Oliver. Too often, society has softened Dr. King's voice, focusing heavily on his nonviolent message of love, peace, and unity to transform injustice and oppression. MLK, though, in pieces like Letter from Birmingham Jail, also called out his white allies. His words are not just shields for, of absolution for white allies, but calls to self-actualization. It is both love of self and honest accountability of others that makes Dr. King's work so very powerful. In the same way, our winners have used their gifts of spoken and written word to challenge Tricidians to work toward a better, more equitable place for all, while speaking love for themselves, their family, and their community. In July, she wrote, I'm raising my daughter to be free, to defy your expectations of who she should be to be accepted. I'm teaching her to love her culture, her hair, her skin, her music, her ability to speak and transition from an office to a newsroom and a backyard barbecue fluently, easily, and magically. All I know is we need more voices like theirs to challenge the status quo in radical love and radical honesty. Please help me in honoring and recognizing the 2021 Spirit Award winners, Brian Christopher Hearn and Deshondra Loving Hearn. When I got the news about being this year's MLK Spirit Award recipient with my husband, honestly, I cried. Although my husband is from Brooklyn, New York, I was born and raised right here in Pasco. And this award and honor is something that my family recognizes every year. Among many activists and leaders of the black community, Martin Luther King Jr. is someone that I have spent a lifetime revering for his words, honoring for his heart, and paying respects to for his many sacrifices. It is not easy to stand for something when the entire world stands on your path when your neighbors and colleagues don't agree, when your life is put in danger, and when your message, which is one of love, acceptance, and equality, is met with hate, rejection, and division. As a young girl, I had a sunny disposition and a warrior backbone that encouraged me to do what is right. Most times, it only landed me in trouble for protesting against childlike things, but it has followed me throughout my life and has become a cherished fabric in the tapestry that is my heart. I spent the majority of 2020 trying to do my part, and being a voice for my generation, for the voiceless, and for those who simply didn't have the words, using all of my talents to make sure that Black women and Black men everywhere would feel empowered to stand and to demand the respect that we are so very deserving of. For our daughter, who I pray will one day be a part of a world that is much more enlightened than the one we stand in now. As the words read in one of my latest pieces, I am teaching her that her life will matter by any means necessary that she is the light at the end of all tunnels, shackles, and in the absence of inhibition. I am raising my daughter to be free. With my phenomenal husband and many other community members by our side, we did what we saw the elders before us do and turned our love into a verb. We wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for the teamwork of an amazing coalition of people. And for them, we are eternally grateful. I have to give thanks to the many black women and men who paved the way for us to be here from Shirley Chisholm to Angela Davis. You can only be as tall as the shoulders that you stand on. And because of them, we are giants. When I was 12 years old, I was granted the honor of delivering a part of Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech in front of an assembly of adults. At that time in my life, I had never received an award greater. 
And now, exactly 20 years later, I sit next to the woman of my dreams, accepting the award in the name of the spirit of the man whose dream we've been fighting to turn into a reality since the day we met. And I've never received an award greater. Dr. King said, lightning makes no sound until it strikes, meaning that a revolution may form in silence, but, but it's when we move to action that our impact can display a force of emphatic intensity. 2020 was a crazy year, to say the least. The racial issues ranging from blatant discrimination to police brutality were heart-wrenching, to say the least. And so I would like to accept this award on behalf of everyone who stood up and decided to do the most. Everyone who marched, made a sign, yelled, I can't breathe until their voices were gone, stood out on the streets for countless hours using your constitutional right to free speech and using your voice and your body to say, we've had enough. Every person who received an eye full of tear gas just for standing up for what you know is right, this is for you. Now, when it comes to doing the work, setting the wheels in motion, making the call to action and then making it happen, I have to give all the praise to my beautiful wife, Desandra, for being the example of what it means to be there for your community, for being an unapologetically black woman, walking in your purpose and in your strength, I have to say I am more than proud to be your husband. It is an extreme honor to be sitting here receiving this award today in my home city. We will continue with everything in us to do our part, to write with a purpose to organize from our hearts, to teach the youth that they are valued, exceptional, and brilliant, to teach our sons that they are free to move throughout this life with their heads held high, and to teach our daughters that they are light personified. We will continue with everything in us to do our part, not only to dream, but fight to make those dreams our reality. Thank, Thank you. you. Day and Brian, the work you've done in the past year has been amazing. You're changing the art and activism communities here in the Tri-Cities. Congratulations on this well-deserved award. Congratulations, Day and Brian, on being the 2021 Spirit of Martin Luther King Award. I couldn't think of anybody greater and more deserving of this award in this particular time that we're in. Not only have you become a friend to me, I know that you'll forever be a friend to the communities in which you serve. So congratulations, and I'm just so very proud of both of you. Congratulations, Brian and Deshandra. Your work as educators and advocates in the Tri-Cities community and beyond will surely contribute to a more equitable place for all. Thank you for all that you do. You certainly are deserving of this honor. This will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing, land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims cry, from every mountainside, let freedom ring, and if America is to be a great nation, this must become true, and so let freedom ring, from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring, from the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the crevaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last.